Okay, now let's talk about the best friend I ever had. Lifelong partnerships, legitimate business, gambling, you name it, and that's Paul. Well, we went to the same junior high school actually together, and uh, Paul was uh, a real macho, good-looking, partying Italian. And uh, he hung with the Italian crowd, I didn't. Uh, it was me and Richie Pell, so we were like two lone wolves. Meanwhile, I loved to fight. I mean, to me, fighting was a sport, and whether you believe it or not, I never lost a fight. I, 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 I became whatever it is. I would take people out one, two, three. It was a natural instinct that I had. But uh, it's this snowy, miserable, lousy day. I'm with Richie. Uh, we're getting ready to walk... Uh, we're getting ready to walk into uh, Evan O.M., and uh, he spots Paul. Well, it just so happened that Paul had hustled his younger brother, Jamesy, uh, out of uh, whatever money Jamesy uh, 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 gets working part-time over in the laundromat. And uh, Richie wasn't going to have any of that. Uh, he goes over to Paul, one word leads to the other, so on and so forth, and they're, they're getting ready to go at it. Meanwhile, there's a big crowd around, so I decide to book the fight. And, uh, of course, I take Richie, uh, me and him, we're buds, and Paul, uh, I've seen him in school, really don't know him at all. But anyway, they go at it, and uh, Paul can handle himself, but yet Richie, uh, uh, through whether it was a slip or uh, a uh, on uh, the snow or this or that or the other thing, he gets Paul down and he's on top of him. And let me tell you something, he's taking Paul's face and he's just pushing it into the cement and scraping it up, the blood's coming out, this, that, the other thing. Paul, uh, let me say, he wouldn't say uncle. I mean, you would have to have killed Paul. He wouldn't say uncle. And this is something that I really respected in the guy. I really did. And uh, after that, uh, just somehow we became very good friends. We started doing a lot of things together. Uh, he started betting on me in the bowling alley, so <laughs> it turns out that Paul loves to gamble also. I mean, later on, uh, uh, well, okay, let's put it this way. He didn't hang with me in the bowling alley as much as the other guys did. Of course, he had a lot of things on his plate, but uh, it became a lifelong friendship, and it is to this day.